Hello and welcome to the highlights of this Pool C match number one between India and Kenya. We are at the Rose Bowl here in Southampton. The team selected uh, for this encounter, India, of course, uh, a very strong batting lineup. They've decided to go with Dinesh Karthik, the wicket uh, keeper, and no Dravid as the keeper, so he'll play as a pure batsman. And another thing to note, of course, is just the one spinner in the Indian team and three seamers to go with it. And Kenya without the services of Maurice Odumbe and Colin Zabuya, the leg spinner. Let's get the start of uh, the Indian innings. Our commentators, Ramiz Raja and Ranjit Fernando. Well, play just about to begin here. There's already a huge noise in the crowd. A lot of Indian supporters have come uh, to watch their team play. All matches are important in this first round. Yes, Rami, so as long as the Indians are there, there is a buzz, and here is the first ball. Starts off well, a good, decent delivery, and a nice straight back from Saurav Ganguly. Down the track and looking to hit it. Well, he's found the gap, and he'll get four runs. First of the day. Not in the middle of the stick, but Indians will take it. Cut away. What a strong shot. Very good shot for Virinder Seva. Ten off the over. India 19 without a wicket. Bowled him. Now that did look ugly. He makes up his mind before the ball is bowled. But he's going to jump down the wicket and try and hit him back over his head. And has suffered the ultimate penalty. Out for 17. The first uh, fall of wicket, one for 30. And that is imperious. A few better players uh, in world cricket. And... Uh, Playing that shot on the offside. He's pulled that away. There's no one in the deep. And the Indian captain will help himself to a boundary. Oh, that's a good shot. No need to run for it. The footwork was what made the shot possible. It's an expensive shot from Lakshman. The placement is superb. The hundred comes up for India. He takes the single and brings up his half century. It's a good start for Saurav Ganguly. His second half century for India in a row. Yes, he's been importing the flesh off the Kenyans and um, continues in that way. And this inning certainly would have given him an immense amount of pleasure as um, runs didn't come easy. They were strapped at the beginning. There he goes. And is that a surprise? Well, the fielder at sweeper cover didn't quite know which way the ball was going. But as a batsman, would love to face such balls. Once again, gives the charge. And it's one bounce into the advertising holdings. Ganguly likes the look of Patel and he wants to get after him. Pick up this run rate. And just over the head of the fielder. He was summoned in the circle. That ball will uh, go now for a four. Hitesh Modi was the fielder. More frustration for the Kenyan captain. Stylishly played. He gets his 50. 10th 50 in his uh, 81st match. India 166 for one. Got away beautifully. There is uh, no protection there for Steve Tickle. And a 
this boundary for Vivius Laxman. He sweeps and sweeps well. Finds the gap. 178 for one. That's pulled away and pulled away beautifully in the gap. That boundary also gives this pair 150 partnership. And the Indians are ecstatic. And he's cleaned him up with a very good Yorker. That was an extremely good delivery, so a good comeback from Martin Suji. He picks up the Indian skipper. He's certainly been the most impressive uh, of the Kenyan voters, Mar Martin Suji. Epitomizes uh, the manner in which he's bold. He's held his nerve here. We saw Ganguly charging on that and uh, just stuck to uh, his earlier task of boarding on the, in the block hole. And that cleaned up uh, Ganguly. So the Kenyans have finally got the breakthrough. And uh, that certainly must be uh, some sort of relief to them. Ganguly departs India 191 for two. That's played fine, that's four. That's off the bat. That's beautifully innovated by Braji. Moved inside the line and uh, just got it so fine that he picked up the boundary. An edge and he's walking. Odeo has uh, done the job for his captain. Got rid of Yuvraj Singh. Is Yuvraj really needed to turn it on? Sort of looking to go down the ground. This time getting that slight outside edge. As I would say, his um, feet uh, not really anywhere near the ball and uh, a simple catch to the wicketkeeper. So uh, he struck very important blow even at this stage, and uh, Ivraj Singh goes. India lose their third wicket for 204. He goes for the big one. He will get the boundary. That's what India needs. Uh, they have to reach 280. They need a couple of good overs from here. Someone who can clear the boundary. The batting performance has been impressive. They were asked to bat first on a pit that had something for the seamers. It was a slow start. But after that, Lakshman and Ganguly just took the match away from Kenya. It's now time to bear fruit for the work put in by Lakshman Ganguly. So you need really some big shots here. Fours, possible sixes. But previous Lakshman in that effort has perished here. India have lost the third wicket. Steve Tikolo has struck for Kenya. His first wicket. Yes, the wicket's coming just at the right time for Kenya. Just when a set batsman is ready to explore. They get another wicket. Pretty simple stumping there for Otiano. But this will pull India back. Lakshman departs. India 213 for four. He's put it in the vacant space on the leg side. A lot of running for that fear at long gone. Hitesh Modi won't get there. It's a welcome boundary for India. That should be four. Mohamed Kef has got India moving here at the right time. Five overs to go, 231 for four. That's four. Mohamed Kev is having a good time here at Southampton. And as a result, India is looking to achieve their objective. Mohamed Kev on 30 of 19 balls. Miscued. Ravindu Shah is the fielder. Not the quickest mover in the field, but it was not really a possible catch. Another good over for India. 250 for four. May not travel all the way, and it does, in fact, comfortably. Martin Suji won't get there. That's another four for India. This partnership, again, proving to be very valuable. 41 of 24 balls. Oh, that's a very good shot. 
He's timed it so well that fielder at long off just had a good view of the ball. And the 50 partnership comes up. 55 of 38 balls. Well, this is a tough shot. He's not looking for six here. He's looking for placement. He's looking to hit inside out and get the ball to the boundary. But that's exquisite timing that's taken the ball all the way. I think that's going to go all the way. It just came beautifully off the bat. It's a Yorker that's being hit for four. Almost a Yorker. Third man won't get there. That's another four for India. Drop it, the man. Wow. What a shot that is. That's reached the boundary in a flash. Careful on 49. And would you believe it? A dot ball, a rare dot ball, and he stays on 49. But what a finish to India's innings. 290 for four. And it seemed at one stage, just before the 40 overs, that they would have lost their way a bit and get about 250, 260, which not have been the right finish considering the foundation that they had. But this is, I think, just perfect complement in the last uh, 5, 10 overs. Indians were superb. In fact, in the last five, they scored 59 runs. Amazing finish. Once again, Saurav Ganguly fancying uh, his time against the Kenyans. 90 of 124 balls. Two very important partnerships in that Indian innings. Vivius Lakshman and Ganguly first. And then Kef and Dravid applying the finishing touch. 59 runs in the last five overs by Dravid and Kef. Seeing India in a very good position here. 290 for four in their 50 overs. Suji and Thomas Odoyo with the new ball were impressive. Steve Tickle with his off spinners kept uh, things down a little bit. 10 overs for 53 runs and a wicket. But the rest just couldn't contain the Indian batting. The target is a steep one for the Kenyans when they are looking to chase that against the Indians on a slower pitch. 291 runs to win of their 50 overs at 5.82 runs per over. Starts off with a good sharp bouncer. It's uh, been given as wide, but uh, good aggressive stuff from Irfan Patan. Little hesitant and a bullseye. It's Mohamed Kaf. Well, this is a brilliant piece of fielding. Kaf, the fielder. Quickly away to his left, he's off the mark. You see how he gets on balance very quickly. He's throwing down the line of the target and smack. Not even in the photograph. Brilliant uh, piece of fielding by Mohamed Kaif and Otieno is run out without scoring. The first wicket falls for K Kenya with nine runs on the board. They'll pinch a run from Mohamed Kaif, who once again hits the stumps. But the case will not be referred to the third umpire. Well, he's down. Here it goes, just about there. That's a nasty little blow. It could have been more disastrous for Mohamed Kaif. Now that's close. This time the finger goes up. And Kenya have lost their captain. Here again, just look at this. Really, there was no bat whatsoever, and um, his pad was right in front. There was no question about it. And umpire Harper's um, hand goes up instinctively, virtually. And Patan, his um, excellent bowling, has been rewarded. So the captain, Steve Tickler, goes LBW to Patan. And Kenya loses their second wicket for 13. Three slips in place for Modi. And that's walked away on the onside. That will get to the boundary. The first boundary of the innings for Kenya. Well, he's uh, going to be dismissed here. Three people 
coming onto the ball. In the end, it's the captain who takes the catch. And Kenya losing their way. They've lost their third wicket. Hitesh Modi looking to accelerate the scoring dismissed. Yes, there was frustration setting in. The runs weren't coming. And uh, giving the charge to uh, Patan really is not uh, the easiest thing to do. And uh, Patan it got way under it, as you would see, going right up in the air. But uh, the confidence in the Indian fielders, there were three of them virtually shouting for the catch. And Ganguly, the captain, picking it up in the end. So uh, Modi goes. And uh, Kenya 21 for three. Uh, between first slip and second. It's cost India four runs. I don't think there was a catch there, but certainly four runs given away. The ball never looked like carrying, but uh, neither did it look like being fielded at the, in the slips. The, the ball going down all the way. Ah! Big appeal for caught behind. Ravindish Shah is not very happy. Rudy Curtin took a long time to get the finger up. I'm not sure whether there was any input from the third umpire. But the ball was wide above stump. There was a noise. Well taken by Dinesh Kartik. And the bowler Harbhajan was up immediately and Rudy Curtin agrees with them. And that's the end of a very good innings from Shah. Caught Kardik Bold Harbison for 33, and it is four for 58. Down the track, and is uh, giving it his full might through the offside. Cracking drive. That really is an excellent shot. That was good use of the feet, and um, also the placement was good. And the Kenyans would need plenty of that. Now, is that taken? Yes, a little bit of bat and tad. Her budget strikes again. Guess a new man on the base. In that delivery from uh, Harbhajan Singh. And, uh, just reaching forward. And plenty of bat there. And a good catch. And, uh, Aga goes. His um, debut winning certainly not so prosperous. Kenya 62 for 5. Taken great piece of keeping, great piece of bowling. Although, as you would see, just hardly any movement of the feet again. That same position, the ball gripping and turning, and the bat just uh, getting close to the ball. And uh, the gloves, too, very close. A good catch indeed by the wicketkeeper Karthik. And uh, Harupajan Singh is struck once again. So that's uh, Thomas Odoya who walks back. Kenya 74 for six. That should be four. It's gone very fine. And one of those uh, rare boundaries. Just over that field uh, on the leg side. So the hundred comes up for Kenya. That's in the gap. It will find the boundary. So a rare boundary here for Kenya. Second one for Omar. Nicely played. That was good footwork. Close to the pitch of the ball, even though he was hitting against the spin. The footwork really allowed uh, that shot possible. That's a good boundary for Alma. Now he's placed that pretty well, and he'll get four runs for that. It's a very good shot on a slow pitch. Oh, he's gloved it. Ajit Agarkar gets a wicket. 
And just in the nick of time, he's coming to the end of his uh, 10 overs. In fact, with that ball, he finishes his quarter of 10 overs. Just a little bit of bounce from this delivery. Umar just gets the glove on it. Kardik takes the catch. That's the seventh wicket uh, for India. The last ball of his 10th over. He gets a wicket, 166 for seven. What's happened there? Was there a bit of bat on it? A couple of times uh, in the last 10 overs or so, Dinesh Karthik has had a few problems behind the stumps. It's signaled as by, so no bat on it as far as the umpire is concerned. There was an awful lot of bat on that, uh, if you ask me, but uh, I'm not, uh, not the umpire. Cross batted slot to hit the ball straight down the pitch. Dravid with a, a misjudgment there, something that he would put down to lack of practice now in the field because he's been behind the stumps for an awfully long time for India. They finish this innings at a run rate of 3.84. So as a result, it's an emphatic win for India in their first Group C match. India win by 98 runs. Never in the run chase were the Kenyans are finishing up on the score of 192 for 7 with Omar making his debut in international cricket. Top scoring with 49 and a couple of contributions from Ravindu Shah and Brijal Patel. Irfan Patan was used with the new ball, but uh, the Indians are looking to conserve him. Just the six overs, Ajit Agarkar, the captain, fell, needed to have a workout, so he finished his quota of 10 overs. But Harbhajan Singh's excellent form with the ball continues. 10 overs, two maidens, 33 runs and three wickets. It's an emphatic win here for India in their Pool C match. The first match, the campaign begins here at Southampton in great style. They're won by 98 runs.